I know you didn't just send me the voicemail. Ryan, get up. It's Banji Santa. Did you forget? Ugh. It's Vlogmas 2022, baby. <laughs> Hey besties, what's up? What's T? Welcome to Ryan So Banji. If you are new to my channel, I ask that you subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when Banji will post another VEO. And if you've been here before, girl, what's up? Y'all, I just woke up, obviously. Look at me, okay? And I am swamped. Okay, it's Friday, Vlogmas, day 16. I just hit up the girl that I was supposed to be cooking for, right? Ask that, say, hey, boo. What time is the party and when do you want the food to, you know, arrive? Because we never discussed that. She said 3 o'clock p.m. tomorrow, the party starts at 2. Y'all, I just woke up. It's so much I have to do. And we're going to get started. I ain't got time to play with y'all. I ain't got time to do this, do that. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Let's go and prep. Just got back home from Walmart. I have these beautiful pineapples. Now y'all see three, but it's actually like six in each box. And then I have one box with three. So these pineapples are so beautiful, aren't they? Now who wanna carry them in the house? First, I'm going to start off by wrapping the hot dogs. I have three packs of hickory smoked bacon, because <laughs> y'all probably be like, but Ryan, we see two. I have three packs of hickory smoked bacon, and we're gonna start off by wrapping them, and then we're gonna place them to the side. Now that I'm finished wrapping those hot dogs with bacon, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the chickens. So I'm gonna open up the chicken thighs, and of course, y'all know I'm gonna wash it. I usually wash my meat with lemon and apple cider vinegar, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. This is how they look. I don't know how many is in here, but I know it's gonna be more than enough to do what I need to do, so let's go. Y'all see? The chicken is nice and seasoned. And if you are wondering why I use for the seasoning, I just use some Kinder's garlic and herb, just a little Larry seasoning salt, and a little Kinder's bourbon peach. I have a lot more chicken to put in a bowl to marinate. I didn't heavily season it because I am going to marinate it with this teriyaki marinade from Larry's. All right, y'all. Here is the chicken and the marinade. Looks so delicious. I just added a little bit of sugar to it to give it some sweetness because this Lari marinade right here, it's a little salty. Um, so you just add a little sugar, some brown sugar, and you'll be good to go. Next up, we have the roast. I have three packs, so that's six total. I'm gonna go ahead and dice them up. And if you are wondering what I season the beef with, garlic and herb by Kinder's, buttery steakhouse by Kinder's, and a little Lari's teriyaki sauce. Good morning, besties. It is the next day. It is 8 a.m. in the morning, and it's time to start this grill up. Here's the tacos. Light of food on deck. Yo, it's the next day and 
I got a story time for y'all. So as you guys seen, I had this huge catering order for a Hawaiian themed birthday party from one of my classmates, right? It turned out to be the catering from hell. So this is what happened. All right, to catch you up if you haven't kept up with the vlog, one of my classmates, they had hit me up and said, hey Ryan, I would like to do this Hawaiian themed birthday party and I want you on the food. I'm like, no problem, boo, I got you. She said she wanted about 60 pineapples cut in half, fried rice, chicken, steak, and apparently she wanted shrimp as well. So she paid me my coins up front and she had a budget for food up to $600. Now I went grocery shopping, I did pretty good. I spent about $550 somewhere around there. I went shopping Thursday, Friday I prepped most of the food. I had the chicken marinating overnight. I had the beef cooking slowly overnight. I wrapped the hot dogs and apparently I forgot all about the shrimp. I let her know, she said, oh, it's fine, whatever, whatever, right? So as I'm up for a total of 26 hours prepping, cooking, cutting pineapples, y'all, I was just, I don't know what I was thinking. I really thought I was Superman. I did most of the stuff by myself for the first like 23 hours, right? And my homegirl, Shayla, she called me, she asked me what I was doing. I told her what was going on. She was like, oh my gosh, Ryan, why didn't you call me to help? I was like, well, hell, I done called everybody. Everybody got their own little thing going on. You know what I'm saying? It's the weekend. So everybody had their little thing going on. So once I was rejected a few times, I was like, well, I'm not gonna call nobody. I'ma just kill it, you know, just do my thing. So Shayla came over, she helped me a lot. I thank God for sending her to my line and calling me and asking me what's up because I promise y'all, I wouldn't have made it without her. So anyway, everything turned out great. Like I said, I prepped everything on Friday night. Saturday, I went out on the grill. I grilled the chicken, boom, boom, bam. I'm filming, everything going great, okay? And when I was finished with the chicken, I noticed that the fire was finally like going out. The fire was buried, okay? So I was like, okay, cool. No fire, it's just a hot grill. I'ma lay these hot dogs on, let the hot dogs cook. You know, no harm, no foul. So I laid them hot dogs on that grill. I turned away. I turn around, I hear fire. So about half of the bacon wrapped hot dogs were burnt. Just the bacon, not the hot dogs. The bacon was burnt. It was like black, char, disgusting, gross, right? So I had to unravel some of the hot dogs, throw the bacon away, and take what was left of the bacon wrapped hot dogs and put it in the oven and slowly cook it in there, which I feel like I should have done anyway. To begin with, I had the beef slowly cooking. The beef was perfect, y'all. It was perfect, perfect. It was so good. So the girl hit me up, she said that with the beef, am I able to shred it? So I was like, perfect, I can do the shredded beef. It's already tender, it tastes great. Let me go ahead and just, you know, rip it apart, boom. So I ripped it apart, I did everything, tasted perfect, right? Now me, I am the first to admit it. When something is perfect, in my opinion, when it's perfect, I try to make it better. What's better than perfect, y'all? Not a damn thing! I said to myself, what can I do to make this better than perfect? So I seen all that delicious juice inside the crock pot. I said, okay, let me get my measuring cup, go into the crock pot, pour it all over the beef. Y'all, I was so tired, drained. I forgot to get some of the oil from off the top of the juice. Toss it out before I put the juice on top of the beef. Y'all, I added all that fat and juice to the beef and it made it so mushy, it looked like dog food. And it's like when you when you put some of the meat in your mouth, it like dissolves. Like it was, oh, it was a nightmare. So the bacon then burnt off the hot dogs. The beef messed up. And on top of that, y'all, I still forgot the girl shrimp. I told her I would have to reimburse her. I said, I'm so sorry. 
I feel like I just ruined your father's birthday. I have to reimburse you. So she was like, well, what do you have? What's going on? Da, da, da. I told her everything that was going on. She was like, okay, well, bring what you have. I said, okay. Maya, I'm pressed for time. She wanted the food there at three o'clock. It was like 2.45. So when she told me to bring what I have, she said, well, it's no rush because we didn't even start setting up yet. The party was supposed to start at two. So I spent probably like an additional 40 minutes getting everything prepped up, you know, presentation wise and got the rice and everything. And y'all, I felt so embarrassed. I felt ashamed. <sighs> y'all, I went nuts. It was like everything was perfect and then it just started going so bad everything was ruined to me in my opinion <sighs> so with the amount of pineapples that she wanted plus the budget that she had she ordered way too many pineapples because the people that she invited she said about 50 to 60 percent was not there so she had way too many pineapples everybody loved the food she said for the most part everything was good but she didn't enjoy it i think she was just upset but her people hit me up on facebook and they were like the food was so bomb i need you to cater so when she said that she didn't like it it made me kind of feel some type of way because i'm like well damn i know everybody have their different tastes or whatever but i truly felt like you know she was upset because i didn't have everything that she asked for even though I did offer to reimburse her. So yeah, my family and my friends, they told me not to let it bother me because, you know, I don't get bad reviews at all. That was like my very first bad review since I ever started cooking <laughs> and catering for people. I really don't know y'all, I swear, I thought I was Superman. It kind of took me back when I was doing my sauces, like my orders, I used to knock out 400 orders all by myself and try to get it to people within a week or two. I don't know, it was like that, that right there, it just had me going, like I used to kill it. I'm talking about getting the product, going to the store to get the butter, the seasonings, going back home, prepping, sterilizing the bottles. Then after I sterilized the bottles, I put the labels on it. 400 labels, all that, by myself, right? Then when I'm done with the labels, I take me a break. And then I get back up and I start making the sauce. Oh, Lord. After I'm done bottling up the sauces, I have to put the caps on it. So I got 400 caps that I got to twist on. Then I have to seal it with the seal. Boom, 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 boom. Not to mention, I have to build my own boxes to send out. Building boxes. Then after that, I have to go online, print out shipping labels. Smack, smack, smack. Like... That, I think that's where my mind was, but my body was like, mm -mm. no, no God, you need help. So I don't know, I was so overwhelmed yesterday that I literally said out my mouth, this is my last time catering. A big event. And yeah, you might say, well, dang, Ryan, you just, you just needed some help. But you know, everybody have their own lives. Everybody has their own thing going on. And yes, if you help me, I will pay you, of course. You know what I'm saying? But everybody had their own thing going on and it was the weekend. Ew. All that talking had me a little parched. So yeah, y'all, that's what happened with the catering. Um, I wasn't able to get a video of the finishing product because I hated everything like it, it was just only one thing it was only two things that went wrong I would say one and a half because I was able to you know catch myself with the hot dogs but as far as the beef it was no coming back from that and that one thing ruined the whole entire experience for me the whole entire meal it was just so bad so all they had was chicken and rice and hot dogs tons of pineapples it was just so embarrassing y'all it was uh, it was just so embarrassing and i know it's all in the game but that never happened <laughs> that never happened before it was so embarrassing and i was just oh but anyway i won't beat myself up on that you know what i'm saying um 
a very special day is coming up Monday on Monday I will be celebrating my three-year anniversary of becoming an entrepreneur and it's very much bittersweet with that going on and me being so exhausted it was just a whole lot of whole lot of y'all but it's all in the game so yeah that was the story time I will be posting this video on Monday, so happy Monday to you. Thank y'all for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you click that notification bell so you'll be notified when your banjo boy posts another video. I love y'all and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. <laughs>